Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com and SoapQueen.com, and today I'm here to talk to you all about trace. What is trace? Well, trace is the common term used in soap making that refers to when oils and water have come together and they've emulsified. There's different types of trace, thin, medium, and thick, and these all refer to the consistency of your soap batter. Too fast? Too much? You know what? Let's make some soap and let's review. Cold process soap is made by emulsifying oil and water and sodium hydroxide together to form soap. This process is called saponification. Now, before I show you Trace, let's suit up for safety, but let's also take a look at what happens when I pour this lye water directly into my oils. Notice how the lye water is just sitting at the bottom of the bowl. Now, if I was to let that just sit there and not turn my stick blender on, well, some of it would turn into soap, but the entire mixture wouldn't. That's why we need the stick blender to move everything around so all the lye water and all the oil molecules can find their partner and saponify up. Once I turn on my stick blender, you'll notice we're getting a really nice creamy consistency, but this is not trace. You can still see streaks of oil. So if I poured this into the mold right now, it would actually separate into the mold and you'd get oil on top and kind of a weird hard lye heavy soap on the bottom. So let's keep blending. Just keep using your stick blender to stir, pulse it. And now this mixture is a really nice creamy consistency and I don't really see any large streaks of oil. So if I was going to pour this into the mold right now, the soap wouldn't separate. And in fact, this is the ideal consistency for doing beautiful swirls. Some of those really intricate designs, they use what's called thin trace. This is thin trace. And why is it called trace? Tracing means when you pull your stick blender out, you can trace your initials on the top. Now with thin trace, eh, you can't really see those initials, but I can see here that we have a beautiful emulsification. Thin trace is often something that soap makers try to achieve after they've got a few traditional medium to thick traces under their belt, just because it is a little bit harder to identify when you're at a thin trace versus something that's just going to separate out. The time it takes to trace varies from batch to batch. If you're using a stick blender, it's about 60 seconds-ish. Uh, if you're trying to stir by hand, well, you're gonna be stirring for a few hours. So stick to the stick blender. Let's turn this on again. Let's see if we can get to medium trace. Here we go. This is a medium trace. Can you see those thin trailings? They're just starting to stay on the surface. Now this is a type of trace I would do to do additives. Like any additive now is gonna suspend beautifully and evenly through my entire batch of soap. Let's keep blending until we get to thick trace, but just know once you hit a trace level, you don't go backwards, you only go forwards. Meaning if I've gotten a medium trace, there is no way to unroll that train and get back to thin trace. It's gonna keep going to thick trace. I'm gonna speed that up though with the stick blender. So here we go. The more you stick blend, the thicker it gets. This is really good for creating texture, for doing say cupcake soaps or whipped soap toppings, that type of really unique looking bar of soap. So let's pour this into the mold and then I can play with it for a little. There's a lot of things that contribute to a thick trace. The oils you use, the temperature you're using, if you're doing a water discount. For example, more hard oils like coconut oil or cocoa butter, they create a thicker trace right away. Whereas liquid oils like olive oil, they stay th a thin trace for longer. So keep that in mind when you're planning your recipes and your designs. And speaking of recipes, I'll put the recipe for the soaps that I just made down in the description below. A great way to make sure you have a perfectly balanced bar of soap is to use one of the quick mixes from Brambleberry.com. We have three different mixes that have been designed for things like swirling or for getting lots of lather or for having a really great moisturizing bar. Now one more thing, if you're new to soap making or if you're an old hat, you've probably heard of the term false trace and if you've been making soap for a while, you've probably seen it. False trace refers to the soap making mixture that tricks you into thinking you've gotten trace or you're getting close to trace. This happens in one of two situations. One, when you're brand new to soap making and you're mixing and you really are like, oh, I got it. Well, that was really fast. It only took like 10 seconds. Well, I'm just gonna pour this. And then you see that you're really getting that separation. And the way to make sure you don't have that happen is just stick blend a little bit longer. Make sure that the oil doesn't come. Or another way you get false trace is if you're using cold lye water, to hot oils with a, high, with a high percentage of hard oils. 
In fact, let me just show you how that looks. Here we go. So you'll notice as I pour this cold lye water down the stick blender, you can already see it's just barely starting to solidify those hard oils. Do you see those giant chunks of oil? That's gonna be difficult to make soap with. So these oils are hardening instantly, giving the kind of illusion that you've maybe hit trace, but really all you've got is hard oils. So even though I have a little bit of false trace, I am going to just stick blend really fast and get this all blended up together and emulsified so that way I can hopefully save this batch. So let's turn the stick blender on and see what happens. Mm, notice that thick layer of oil? Let's pull that stick blender out. Let's just keep blending. We wanna make sure all the oil is fully incorporated in. There we go. That got pretty thick pretty fast, but we saved that batch. So I'm just gonna pour it in to the mold and there we go, all done. Whew. I hope you enjoyed this more technical episode of Soap Queen TV. If you'd like to be informed of when I come up with new videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you always know when a new Soap Queen TV video comes up. Or if you're really interested in how to make soap, head over to SoapQueen.com. I've got hundreds of free recipes and tutorials over there, and I'd love to see what you create. So be sure and post your creations to our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Brambleberry. Until next time, happy soaping.